Okay, we're back, reloaded it, and we're now just going to take a look. It would now be a 333. That's fine. But if it's male, it's fine. If it's female, it ruins the game. If it's a female heir, we get absolutely wrecked. Let's see what happens. It's male. Fantastic. It's Enrique. He's a 333. That's absolutely fine. I am fine with that 100%. Ah, oh, they automatically get the siege of it. That's unfortunate. So now that means I have to wait for him to die. And regardless of what happens, I will get the personal claim. That's perfectly fine. I'm okay with it. Also, hello, I'm Aldrich, and welcome back to this interesting little thing that I'm doing. Now we're going to declare war on Telemachus. And I do believe they don't need to be at peace for this to fire. Basically, the reason I'm doing this for those who are just joining me is because the Iberian Wedding event requires that the rulers of Castile and Aragon be of different genders. And currently, the heir for Aragon is a female. My heir is or was originally a female as well, but now it's a male, so it's going to be fine. One bit from Parrot Deserves for giving Orangenus the finger. Thank you very much for that, my friend. I will put that one cent to... You know, I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm going to treasure it. I'm going to treasure it lovingly, my friend. Oh, I got the month tick! Tick. <sighs> Standing in the mountain, I got the month tick. Life is pain. Subscribed. I spent who just subscribed to. There we go. Target Pix is following the stream. Thank you for the follow buddy and welcome. Really appreciate that. How did I type subscribe instead of unsubscribe? Oh, subscribe. Well, it's too late now. You've got to subscribe to me. Portuguese involvement. Alfonso has decided to support the pro Portuguese faction in your country and has sent military aid. Oh, you dick. In Mercia. Where's Mercia? Mercia, 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 Mercia. Better not be a freaking mountain. Where is it? Mercia. God, it's plains. Okay, it's fine. Um, is it Three Islands? It's fine. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Yep, that's right. Subscribe to PewDiePie. All right, let's go beat these guys up. Come on, here we go. It's only eight regiments. That's fine. Oh, also I need to get my power up. Boom. Boom. So fewer rebel control promises than one, and spawn rebel is not pretender. They're not too bad. So our general is very garbage. My god, he's garbage. Apparently he's following the stream. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Lovely to have you here, my friend. If I get these guys to 100 influence, though, I will literally die. So I can't do that. Really do want to just try and spam another general out here, because this is awful. Maybe a bit of Francisco Adenella. Three one. That's mildly better than what I have already, so that's fine. Um, he's got prestige from battles, but that's very useless to me, so let's just put him here. Right, is my heir a child, or is he... He's a child, that's fine. You just freaking die already. Jesus. I swear, if he lives forever, I don't know what I'm going to do. There is Portuguese involvement. There we go. There we are. You actually have a general with a better shock value than me, that's unfortunate. Okay. Increased privileges. 1473. Iceman just subscribed. Oh, thank you for the subscription, my friend. Really appreciate that. Oh, slap, buddy. Oh, look at that. You were forced to. <laughs> thank you so much. I have to subscribe now. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. Ah, oh, thank you. Can we please get some emote spam for the lovely Iceman? Ah, oh, that's some love right there. Thank you for the subscription, my friend. When is Ubisoft meant to be releasing that pirate game? I don't know. That would be awesome. I'd like a new pirate game. All right, Battle of the Melic reinforced speed. Boom, that's nice. Can we can we divide this so I don't get the attrition, please? No, no, please move. Please move, please move. All right, cool. You, kill them. Let's go. No, don't get the siege, you dick. Oh, you're a dick. I hate you. <laughs> you're a dick. I hate you. We'll split two guys off, and then we'll go get the siege. I haven't played AC4. I really do need to. Right, let's get them. Could you stop that, please? Wishes he can consolidate his forces with shift. I'm not consolidating, no, man. Not just yet. I want to keep my force limit up. 
England's no longer great power. They decided not to entertain England's claim for greatness. Wow. It's because they lost Maine? They conquered, they conquered stuff, though. Please die. Why is it so difficult for you to die? Merchant defects. Mercantilism is right. Yep, I want that mercantilism. Thank you. Building up that longevity. Thanks again for the sub, man. I really appreciate that. Oh, I didn't allow my morale to come back. Oh, I had low morale. <laughs> hey, Alder, how close are you to PUing Aragon? Zeke, not too close. Well, pretty close. We need for King Juan to die. When King Juan dies, then I will, because his heir is female and my heir is male, and I'm male regardless. So, if he is in... Re Unfortunately, he's going to be in Regency. Basically, it's a 10-year mean time to happen if they're in Regency and they're female. But if she... When she reaches 15, it will be a one year. So basically, at the if assuming he will die in the next six years, I will get it in un, in within seven years. Basically. Is this a mountain? If it's a mountain, I'm going to cry. It's not good. Just going to have a little chill. A little chill party. Right, this isn't too bad, though. You disinherited your female heir? I did not know. During the, I mean, the Castilian Civil War, it kicked mine out, and I replaced it with a Enrique de Trastamu because I did not want to get wrecked with my. Because Aragorn got a female heir, I needed to get a male heir. Otherwise, I was going to get wrecked. I was going to have some serious problems. All right, let's do this. We're going to go like that. I want to avoid the river. Nope, there's a river there too. Shit, I've just wasted my time. Okay. And I've got the attrition tick. Oh, I just gave myself an unnecessary attrition tick for no reason. Not super convenient, to be honest. I would have preferred to have kept my Habsburg air. I got Habsburg air of 631. Would have much preferred that. Right, there we go. Half you there. Half you here. And then slowly remove that. And that's it. I'm, I'm about to go. I'll check out the vlog and go back. Awesome, Zeke. This is all going up on YouTube, so you can also watch it on, watch it on YouTube as well. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. We just get a sub as well, which is really cool. Thanks for being here, my friend. Love you to drop by. Um, Hang on. Uh, I could have given him a... Siege General. Siege General? Nope, no Siege General here. Um, I'm, I thought, Unfortunately, I can't reduce them the... I can't reduce the thing because the maintenance because I don't know if more rebels might randomly spawn so I have to just wait ah it's fine it's just unfortunate that we're literally doing nothing I really wish I'd take the admin focus man I should have hit admin it's gonna take so long once I die at least I get two more points a month that'll help these guys up. There's no need to get this attrition. There we go. That helps. It's definitely slowed me down. It's definitely slowed me down. Alright. We're making money still as well. This is what's weird. Hey. Me that. Boom. 22%. Great. She's dead. She's dead. Regency. Christ. Okay, she is in a regency. So we now have a mean time to happen of 10 years for this event, and I do not believe she has to be at peace. I don't think she has to be at peace. Aragon. Yep, doesn't have to be at peace. So, we just have to not be at war with each other. So it has a mean time to happen of 120 months, which is 10 years. But if she's not in a regency, it, which she is now, it will go down to one year. So I have to wait... Oh, look at that. Forge of Glory. Nice. Lose admin points, ducats, and splendor, but gain pretty good value bonuses. That's good. As long as Portugal doesn't have an ally, I get this. I'm going to do really well. If, so if this happens quickly, so mean time to happen of 10 years, and in four years' time, it's going to go down to one year. So in five years, I will definitely, definitely get it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about a thing. Burgos is over. Good. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm not going to give you Condor Theory. If she, but of course, if she would randomly die, I would just end myself. <laughs> okay. 
Four more years. Oh, I don't want to upgrade this program. Leave me alone. My philosopher has died. Okay. Well, I have 281. So I think I can go all the way down, to be honest. I could probably afford a plus two. Um, with, I believe we've got religion, the correct religion everywhere. Yeah, we do. We could go to plus two. Let's go to plus two. Invading the Portuguese and stealing New World Colonies. No, we're going to be getting them in a personal union. Ours advancement and religious act. Missionary strength. We don't care about that just yet. Oh, shit. I forgot to get claims. Whoops. Oopsie doodles. There we go. So, any month now, this event can fire. Any month. End of the Castilian Civil War. Fantastic. The conclusion of hostilities to the Castilian communes once again in peace eternally. In the wake of conflict, the battle of power, power between royal power and that of nobles has shifted. As our relationship with the countries, Castile opinion of Aragon, in our opinion, has increased. Brilliant. Maintenance goes down. Forts go away. Where has the highest supply limit? It looks to be Sevilla. Weirdly enough, it's Sevilla. Right, to Sevilla you go. Oh, we did it. Now we just gotta wait. Any month now it could happen. Meantime to happen of not even long. Vatican infiltrations, instruct them to go forward. Yeah, do it. As long as they don't get an ally, we will also get a restoration of, uh, of Casus Belli on them straight away. So good. And how's the Renaissance spreading? Oh, Holy Orders! Among the dedicated Christian evangelists, some Holy Order will cost you 50 admin points. I'm not going to do that. Gain base tax. Promise to change from establishing. Permanent presence effect. Why are you getting a base tax? Giving low construction of the cost. Culture conversion cost for Dominicans. Gain a base production. Replaces slaves trade good in the state with a new trade good. I know I can turn a force quick. I just didn't do it. I'm stupid. And Franciscans cost you military power and gain one base manpower and local unrest and local devastation. That's brilliant. That's good to know. I'm not going to... So it's actually just in the state. Um, Actually, that might be pretty good because that's more Diplo points. Do it. Let's give culture conversion cost for the base production every state and culture conversion cost. Just gives me base production, so I wouldn't do that. They give you immediate effects from establishing them and permanent effects in all provinces. Once established, you cannot change it. Oh shit. <laughs> well, that doesn't do some bad things. Right, so how are we doing? It is spreading. I have. Here is it. Institutions. Okay. It is spreading very slowly. 0.9 because European 10 development province. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one has it. There's any provinces I have that are like this, for example. I'm going to move that to 10 dev. Anything that's just 9 dev, I'll give a bit of military power to. Just so I can put it to that level so that it, can, it can actually start spreading. It's a good trick. When you, when, you, when you know it's only like one level off, Sometimes even two. It's worth it to just uh, to pick it up a little bit. Alright. Now we just gotta wait for Aragon. We can do this. Unfortunately, that's way too much. Way too many forces. Um, in fact, I think I'm actually over my limit. No, I'm not. So, let's just go... To Toledo you go. And even that is too much for some reason. All right. There you go. Fine. A queen consort of the people. Their national unrest reduction. I don't care about unrest reduction. Leave me alone. I cannot afford to lose admin power. Come on, baby. It's meantime to happen. It's looking good. War of Telemachan. The Aragonese conquest of Verin. You can do it, guys. Oh, I hope they win the war first. That'd be good. So allies, yeah, we are allies with them, good. We are also allies with Scotland, which is nice. Trying to curtail England's power. Portugal doesn't have an ally just yet, which is good. He's died. Come on, mate. 
Come on. It can happen any day now. Any month now, really, because it is a monthly check, so. Just going to put it on max speed, allow my manpower to replenish. At the moment, I'm not really doing anything interesting. I am very much just sitting here and waiting. But that is okay by me, because what I need is patience. And I can get Aragorn, and then I can get Portugal and become amazing. And that would be so good. Every little thing. Gonna be all right. Probably. Burgundy is doing pretty well, which is good. Of course, we're going to have the Burgundian succession pretty soon. Probably. Brittany actually won a couple provinces. What? That's awesome. How the hell did they win provinces? Ooh, new seat of cardinal. Boom. That'll help a lot. She's 13. Once she hits 15, she will inherit. And because she will not be in a regency, it will go down to a mean time to happen of one year. Do bear in mind that a mean time to happen of one year means that it, it takes a 50% chance that it will have happened by one year. So it, you know, and it's not 100% chance of happen by two years. It could theoretically never happen. But I have many years to wait. It's you know, As long as I wait for 1550. And as long as my heir doesn't randomly die and get replaced with a woman, we're okay. Noble family's feud, side of the family. Oh my. You know what? I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna be a dick about it. I'm gonna fight. Where's Sevilla? Sevilla is there. Gonna be a dick. Gonna struggle with it. Hmm? That's gonna be. I've lost the statesman again. Ugh. Deploy advisor. Get pre relations, I guess. One more month, I'm going to go cyber dudes. Always pause before you click in case it spams another invader out in your face. Not fun. Alright, cool. Down it goes. And back you go. Back to making money. The Emperor's enacted a reform. In case of all online members, good for you. She should hit 15 now. She's 14, sorry, so it's your one more year. Okay. More year, guys. One more year. One more. As long as Portugal does not get any allies, I can declare war on them and destroy their faces. It's so good. Come on. Why are you fighting the Ottomans? Ottoman conquest of Negronte? Who are you fighting? Oh, bugger off now with that. That's a terrible idea. No. You know what? I need to be in charge of you. So I'm going to make you my personal union partner in three, two, one. Uh, one. Uh... No? Okay. <laughs> two more months, guys. Oh, Britney's at war. Gary and Friesland. Is France at war? No. We're still good. And we've been... Uh... You know what? Actually, we have another general here. We should just be doing drilling. Actually, let's put the general... Let's put the leader as it, because... Christ, is my dude terrible. Maybe he'll die and he can get replaced with someone good. Because it doesn't matter if I'm in Regency, the event only checks if Aragon is in Regency. And there's the Iberian ready. <sighs> oh my god, finally. Ferdinand II, King of Aragon, was married to Princess Isabel of Castile. This is a marriage of political opportunism, not romance. The court of Aragon dreamed of returning to Castile, and Isabel needed help to gain succession to the throne. The marriage initiated a dark and troubled life, in which Ferdinand fought on the Castilian Aragonese fronts in order to impose the authority of a noble oligarchy, shifting his base of support from one kingdom to the other. According to the intensity of the danger, despite the political nature of the union, he loved Isabella sincerely. Many considered Ferdinand the savior of his kingdoms, a bringer of unity. Others despised him and oppressed them. Machiavelli attributed to him the objectionable qualities of a Renaissance prince. Oh, let's marry a local talent. No, let's bind to their dynasty to us. Oh my god. Um, and we do gain a revolt in Jane. And we've gained Navarra. Oh my god.
And just in case... Okay, we're gonna save. Let's save this. What we're gonna do is this will give us permanent claims on everything. We've also got Subjugate Navara, which is really cool. Ooh, Castle of Navara. The branch of the house trust me that rules over the Kingdom of Navarra has been going to show signs of weakness until a strife, so the disputes. Beautiful. What we're going to do is we're just going to move these guys over here and really quickly kill them. And we're going to declare war on Portugal as pretty much as soon as possible. I'm going to do it now. So let's go... They shouldn't get an ally. I'm actually really nervous. I'm going to do it now. Claims in Aragon. So there we go. A great deal of Aragon is to once more by Castile. With force of cunning or cunning, let's make it ours once again. We gain a restoration of Union case belly on Portugal. And there it is. So there's the restoration case belly. No one will join, but I don't care. We have got this. And the conquest against Naples as well. Which is really nice. So, obviously later, what we're going to do... Family ties, nice. What we're going to do later is beat them up. And it will be great. Okay. We got this. Let's do it. That's going to be it for this episode. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Aldrich, I continue to be. This has been some EU4 Castile. We've done it. 1464, a bit later than I would have liked, but we made it work. Bye-bye.